What's up YouTube, LND here. Uh, today we're going to be playing some Dead by Daylight. Um, I know it's been quite the fucking while, but finally ready to start recording and shit again. Uh, I'm sorry if the audio is weird. I'm trying to figure out exactly what to do with my mic. My desk setup is kind of weird, so I had to have it like right in my face. So, hopefully I'll get that sorted out. Uh, we're going to be on the PTB because uh, we got this mofo in the game now. Where is he at? Ghostface. Uh, the new meme killer. A creepy killer able to stalk his victims and sneak up silently using his power night shroud. Affected survivors will find themselves vulnerable and oblivious. To his presence and must use all of their perception and awareness to protect himself from his approach. So he's like a mix between the pig and Daddy Myers. So the love child. Uh, I have almost a million blood points to spend on him, which. Mm, um. Okay, well that's an idle animation for him, I guess. So the guy is gonna be kind of a. I don't know, like the jokey dude in the game now. Uh, so I'm going to spend these blood points on him. Probably go over some of his uh, add-ons and stuff. Uh, then I'm going to play a couple games as him. And then I'm going to try to play a couple games as Survivor. And see if I get him. But with these PTBs, you never know. There's going to be some try-hard that is going to... Be playing a five blink nurse with a mori also i don't know what the deal with this uh ptb is because i'm pretty sure i was not ranked 10 may 30th uh so that's a thing i am now though let's just, i don't know let's just level this dude up philly stolen camera from a victim of olson's in philadelphia where that he worked before the film inside captured his last night in the city instantly refills the night shroud power gauge every time a generator is completed probably should actually look at his power yeah anal animation is gonna be kind of annoying oh yeah it's three perks we got i'm all ears uh your keen sense are sharpened in the dark realm of the entity unlocks potential and one's aura readings ability any survivor performing a rust action outside of a terror radius will have their aura revealed to you for six seconds. Has a cold or can only be triggered once every six seconds or sixty seconds. Thrilling tremors, your dark design and shrewd composure arouse the entity. After picking up a survivor, all generators not being repaired by a survivor are blocked by the entity and cannot be repaired for the next sixteen seconds. <clears throat> affected affected generators are highlighted in a white aura. Can only be triggered once every 100 seconds. So you won't even... I don't know. That perk's pretty damn strong in my opinion. I don't know if the 16 seconds will change ever. If it'll get longer. It's probably just the how often you can use it. But I feel like you're not going to be downing a survivor every 100 seconds. So I think that perk is always going to be used. Unless you got like potatoes or something maybe. Fugitive or furtive chase you become assessed with one survivor you lurk in the shadows emitting eliminating your victims one by one when your obsession is hooked the perk receives a token up to a maximum of two tokens each token decreases your terror radius by four meters while in a chase a survivor rescues the obsession from a hook the rescue becomes the obsession lose all your tokens of the obsession is sacrificed or killed the killer may only be obsessed with one survivor at a time um, I don't know if that one is really going to do much for somebody like Ghostface. Because I feel like the point of him is to get somebody before you're in a chase. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to be trying to use all his unique perks. Uh, his power is Night Shroud. And, I mean, I'm not going to read all this because I don't feel like reading a novel right now. Um, but basically, from how I'm to understand it, he can crouch... Uh, he can remove his terror radius, and then both in crouch and non-crouch, he can stalk. I think he's supposed to stalk faster when he's crouched. He can also peek around corners and shit. I, we'll see it more in the in the game, but yeah, that's pretty much the basics. Okay, let's actually fucking level him up. 
cheap cologne, a dollar store cologne with the pugnant scent of rubbing alcohol worn by Ghostface to make his presence known. Reserved for impromptu visits. Slightly decreases stock depletion rate for all. Okay. First perk was make your choice. Or not make your choice. Um, Hangman's trick. Nothing new here. Very, very nice to get on him right away. I can grasp. Probably will cut out most of the blood web stuff if it gets too repetitive. Walleye's matchbook. A sheet of matchbooks from Walleye's, a small bar in Northern Roseville. A victim's phone number is scribbled in blue. One of the incriminating pieces of evidence found. Slightly increases night shroud charge rate. I'm actually not sure what charge rate is, what that means. Oh, I didn't read this one. Olson's address book. Filled in blunt blue craved writing, all Roseville murder victims are listed there along with their phone numbers and address. Moderately increases night shroud charge rate. I guess that's how long it takes to crouch or something maybe? Remember me, not the best perk anymore. Marked map. The annotated map of northern Roseville, Florida. Each X represents a victim of the ghost face. Mapping out your targets allow you to roam the streets undetected. Moderately decreases the minimum distance for from the killer for a survivor to trigger a detection indicator. Does not stack. That's an interesting thing. I'm assuming that's the thing that has to deal with people being able to look at him to cancel his power. Headlines cutouts. Cutouts of an article covering unresolved murder or unsolved murder cases from Utah to Peninsula or Pennsylvania. While Ghostface only authored some of the headlines, he commented committed all the murders. Compiling your success makes you proud and boosts your confidence. Slightly increases movement speed while stalking. So this is gonna make him faster while crouching than when normal. Because as far as I know, his movement speed doesn't decrease when crouched. And we got a Cypress Mori, I think that was. I don't remember what the yellow one's called. Other than Daring too, that's gonna be nice. Anything new? Oh, uh, yeah. Telephoto lens. Manual focus lens to remain undetected while taking pictures from afar. Increases stalking rate. Increases stalking depletion rate for all. Okay, I, I don't understand what stalking depletion rate means. Yeah, ooga booga, dude. I actually forgot to mention there is, uh, like, special music for them in the, the menu. I don't know if you can actually hear it well here. Blue pen with a chewed cap that holds traces of Danny's DNA. Incriminating evidence that was never found. Cons considerably increases night shroud charge rate. And it's interesting. Still not exactly sure what the charge rate means. Probably would if I read his fucking power. Furtive chase 2. Uh, I should have read what that was. Lasting perfume. An overwhelming musky fragrance worn by Ghostface to announce his presence. Reserved from victims he planned to write about. Considerably decreased stock depletion rate for all survivors. Decreased stock. Okay. So I guess that just is... Over time, the how, mu how, how much you stalk somebody goes away, I guess. Reusable... Cinch straps. Black straps that keep everything in place while on the prowl. Slightly increases movement speed while crouched. Okay. This is the matchbook. Why is that not telling me what that was? That was weird. I actually took his add on. Okay, we got a rare one here. A very rare one. Driver's license. A driver's license reveals Olsen's true identity, Danny Johnson. Considerably decreases the range at which survivor can detect the killer. Ooh, barbecue and chili. Nice. I don't know how useful that is. Probably do one match as adept ghost face and then one match with some actually like good stuff. Knife belt clip. Perfect belt clip to scout carry your blade discreetly. No one knows what you're planning to do tonight. Hitting a survivor while crouched for at least two seconds applies the mangle status effect. 
slightly increases movement speed while crouched. That's a uh, never like those on hit add-ons really, like mangled and stuff. Maybe something for like huntress or clown that gives um, exhaustion maybe, but that's about it. Nice enduring three. Night vision monocular. Night vision lens enables sharp sh photos even shrouded in darkness. Ideal for discreet impromptu visits late at night. Considerably increases stalking rate. Right? Considerably increased stalk stalking depletion rate for all survivors. You only have to stalk a survivor for I think four seconds to expose them. So, not sure how useful those are. Leather knife sheath. Quiet and flexible sheath to carry your blade. Movement is in movement is easier when things are fastened in place. Hitting survivor while crouched for at least two seconds applies to hemorrhage status effect. Slightly increases movement speed while crouched. It seems like he's gonna have a lot of on hit stuff. Olson's wallet. Olsen's wallet holds $30 in cash, a video club membership card, and a folder picture of Olsen's first Roseville victim. Carrying incriminating evidence boosts your excitement and resolve. Considerably increases the movement speed while stalking. Also, this chair is so fucking squeaky. Okay, we got one of his ultra rare offering or add-ons here. I actually might have accidentally didn't like uh like missed one of these. I don't think I bought it. Uh, tape obtained by, or ghost face caught on tape. Tape obtained by Olsen to write an article that terrorized Roseville. Tremendously increases stalking rate when leaning from cover. Tremendously decreasing stalking rate when not leaning from cover. That's a fucking weird, weird add-on. Uh, we got his other ultra rare offering or add on here outdoor security camera a small surveillance camera that filmed Ghostface breaking into a house on Bellevue Road in northern Roseville the camera was positioned at the perfect angle to catch a glimpse of Ghostface without providing any real clues to the police the auras of all survivors outside of your terror radius are revealed for four seconds when a marked survivor is put into the dying state interesting it's a very interesting add on uh, probably go for Devourer here. I don't use either one of those perks, really. Oh, we got an Ebony Mori. Ghostface probably does have one of the... I don't know if I'd necessarily say one of the best Moris. Or, it's one of the most well-done Moris in the game. Oh, people lost their fucking shit when they saw it. Ew, know it. Let's grab the Scordon's. The Scordon's actually one of my favorite perks. I think it's stupid how level 1 of that perk is the best one I actually have. So if you get the Scordon's, don't level it up. Drop Leg Knife Sheath. A sheath allowing for motion range ideal to inflict quick and powerful wounds while moving freely. Stolen from a patrol officer the night Danny left Philadelphia. Moderately increases movement speed while crouched. Okay, that's not bad, I guess. Okay, so we got to level 36, which is not bad. Um, so let's see, we got... We didn't get any of the higher ones for Thrilling Tremors on all ears. But we got tier 3 for Furtive Chase, which I actually think is his worst perk. Uh, got two Moris. Fucking five of the Ultra Rares. I think I got one of each of his add-ons. I might be missing one or two purple add-ons. I, th I think I'm only missing one. Um, so yeah, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to like cut the, the recording here. I'm going to check up on some stuff. I'm going to come back in and then we're going to play, I think, two games as Ghostface. I'm going to do one with uh, just his normal perks, which is Adept. And then I'm going to try to make like an actual build that might do something. I didn't get the best perks, but sadly no uh, spirit fury. 
Anyway, I'll be uh I'll be back in a bit. Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to be notified when my new content is released, click the subscribe button on screen. And if you're looking for more videos to watch, click on the links to the right to be taken to either playlist there, or click the link on the left to be taken to that video.